Hello everybody and welcome to the card for Monday Night Claw for the 18th of May and uh, I'm Jim McMahon. with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello Gorilla. Hello Jim, we are coming off one hell of a pay-per-view at Extreme Rules and starting off Monday Night Claw we are going to be graced by the newly crowned Chaos Chosen Champion, Squirrel Dude. I wonder what he's got to say Jim. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? He's going to be calling someone out. No idea who it is. Uh, so, yeah, that's just going to be... I mean, the division's quite open, isn't it? So I think it's anyone's guess as to who he'll be calling out. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, next up is a one-on-one -on -one normal match between Flapfart and Thor. Now, Thaw, Flapfart, this is a rematch from last week where Thaw got pretty handily dominated... Uh, Flapfart did benefit from the help of Space Cadet uh, and thought fighting an injury, maybe feeling a little bit better after a big win against his former rival Gdanik, uh, and Flapfart coming off of a, a, a really rough loss against EAB for the EAB title. Um, so this uh, sparks could fly in this one, but man, Flapfart is. It's hard to. It's really hard to bet against him, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. Flap Flap so dominant, but he's got to be hurting after such a grueling match against EAB. And yeah, as you say, Thor high off his victory. So yeah, it'll be it'll be an interesting one. And uh, then it's speaking of EAB, it's a triple threat between three big boys: um, yep. Table Leg Wanger, EAB, and the Mighty Zug. Yeah, I mean, uh, Monday Night Claw features our super heavyweights, and what better way than to put three of them in the ring and see if all those kendo sticks under the ring can hold it together. Uh, EAB, <laughs> victorious, holding the title. you got to believe Table Leg Wanger or Mighty Zug wants to get a win in that match and start, uh, start, the, uh, st start moving towards getting a title shot. Yeah, yeah, it's a big, really big opportunity for these two really big guys to take on the really big champ. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a one-on-one -on -one normal match between the two light heavyweights Ardvac 001 and Azunga yeah Azunga frequently mistaken for a tag team competitor and Ardvac frequently mistaken for a homeless man uh, both of these guys trying to distinguish themselves in uh, now that we have finally seen some um, some movement with the uh, Chaos Chosen Championship trying to distinguish themselves uh, with a little bit of TV time. We'll see what uh, what both of them bring to the ring. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> then, then it's the, the Kurgle versus Kiwi Nutsack attack. Yeah. Uh, the Kurgle, you know, he won a match, uh, maybe even two matches with low blows, which really no one was expecting from him. Uh, and then he got and then he got put in, in the ring against Mordam. Uh, now facing Kiwi Nutsack Attack. I think the powers that be are trying to tell Kurgle something. Maybe cut that shit off with those illegal low blows, or we're going to have people punching your uh, your Iron Cod piece uh, repeatedly every Monday night. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? The irony of that. Winning winning with a low blow, then Moridam and Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Amazing. And then, uh, then how about this? Crusher versus Frost Lord, one Frost Lord army with J5 in his corner. Yeah, and Frostlord, one of the most consistent competitors in the super heavyweight division, um, has been winning matches. You know, mostly mostly in four way matches uh, of late. Probably relishing getting a little extra time and focus on one opponent, and uh, he'll have the incomparable Johnny Five uh, in his corner uh, to 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 help him through that one. Should be a fun match. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, Crusher, a massive fan favorite, so that, that that's cool. And oh, speaking of fan favorites, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a, a little bit of curious booking here. Rick Reckless uh, of the uh, the Chaos Chosen uh, Championship division, uh, light heavyweight, against the super heavyweight Goliath. Two very, very different kinds of fan favorites, but two fan favorites nonetheless. Uh, I am never going to complain about seeing either one of these men make their way into the ring or do what they do in the ring. But again, curious, curious booking and putting it in the main event uh, may, really makes you think, Jim. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I guess they're both high up on the lists of the, the you know the power rankings of, of the various belts and stuff. So, you know, it's 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 certainly it's certainly main event worthy, isn't it? It's just they're not really in the title picture. Maybe there's yeah, maybe there's some kind of storyline uh, building up that we're not aware of. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, could Rick Reckless be the target of Squirrel Dude's ire at the start of the show? We will find out tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah. And thank you very much, Gorilla Metzor. And uh, uh, No problem at all. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.